Hey everybody, it's Zia Patsy. You might be saying to yourself, well, where is she? Why is it so dark where she is? And isn't it? It's 425 in the morning and I am in Manhattan, the Big Apple, because I had a train trip planned today and I needed to be at the uh, brand new Moynihan train hall to catch the Amtrak because I'm going to Virginia because my grandchildren are graduating from high school. So I wanted to go down and be there. You know, at first I wasn't going to go because it's cheaper and less problem, you know, prob prob problemic <laughs> for me to just send them the money and I can watch it on the link because there's a link, you know. But I wanted to see my mom and I haven't seen her in a, a year when I went back down there for her birthday last year, right? Not this one, the one before. And uh, then I think I did see her in September, but it's getting older and I want to see her. I don't get to see her as much as everyone else does because everybody... My other two sisters have moved there, and my brother, he's in Yonkers, but, you know, he works a lot. And, um, but I wanted to see her, um, and I asked my grandchildren if they minded if I didn't come, and they didn't, but then I said, you know what, you never know, and life is short, and, and I know I'm only going to be able to, <laughs> to handle her for <laughs> no more than a day. And I got that covered because I'm going to continue um, and visit with my girlfriend, um, Stephanie, my bestie. And, um, you know, check out some other folks while I'm down there. Um, and then to return, I will be taking the train as well. Um, so. The train, you could take two bags, you can, you know, free. These airlines don't want to let you, you know, you have to pay $40 or $45 or $50 on some airlines just to take your bag, unless you upgrade your seating and you have to upgrade it up a couple of notches, like first class or business class. But I didn't know there was something less than basic econ economy and now it's basic I don't know what that is. but anyway I um, I'm gonna go and pay um, my pass matron um, a visit and I'm going to you know just see what I can get into and do some exploring some genealogy hopefully and uh, see what this, you know, how my body uh, adjusts to the uh, weather. Um, Virginia is hot, but it's, it's bearable. Florida is ridiculous. So um, I'm going to be visiting a couple of places and seeing how the heat um, makes me feel. So I'm only doing this at 4.30 in the morning because the Moynihan Hall is closed. Um, apparently they, I don't know what time they closed, but they don't open till five in the morning. And I had gotten up, well, I never went to sleep. Someone had to, I ain't gonna say that. Someone called me this morning at six o'clock. Now I had not gone to sleep until 3.30. But one of my OES sisters and I, all right, so as I was saying, one of my sisters um, called, she needed to know some information. And I think she thought I was supposed to pick her up Saturday morning, but I wasn't because I knew I had to do this thing. So I, I was staying, you know, home and packing and all that other stuff that we have to do before we go on away for 
a few days and I always overpack. So I was trying not to do that this time. And it's humid and I just uh, walked from Penn Station to Moynihan. And it's really down the block and across the street. But you, if you're walking through Penn Station, they have all of these hills and all of these steps. You would have thought that they would put in an escalator to at least, you know, connect you to this place, but of course not. And uh, there's all kinds of strange people out here in the street. Some are homeless and some are just strange. And uh, and I guess other people didn't know that they don't open up until five. So I dragged myself, dragged myself up the steps, down the steps, this heavy bag. So, I mean, there are other women helping me up the steps with the bags. That's how bad it was. It is. They don't open till five, he said. Mm. So I got to sit here until five. <laughs> so and my bus doesn't my train doesn't leave till six so I thought I was going to be clever that way I wouldn't have to rush I could take my time if I needed to stop and get some air and you know measure my steps I thought I'd be able to do it no problem <laughs> and I was able to do it until I got to this door and uh, they have no accommodations there are no benches out here that I'm sitting on top of my suitcase wondering what it is that I'm crushing because I had to turn it upside down and I have a duffel suitcase so anyhow it's going to be a nice day I'm sure but uh, it was so cold at the, at the Long Island Railroad Station because you're higher up and now at your ground level in Manhattan, surrounded by the water. It's a different atmosphere. But uh, this is the city that never sleeps, they said. But uh, they do lock doors. So I'm going to look forward to a nice, relaxing trip ride down. I think I should get there by 10, 15 and the train leaves at 6 30. So. And thank goodness my sister's going to pick me up. And then the graduation ceremony is Monday. So I'm just getting there the day before. And then I get to see my babies march across the stage. And, uh, you know, it's going to be like uh, four generations of us there. My mom, me, my daughter, and her daughter. So it is a, a momentous occasion, I guess. But uh, I'm too lazy to even, I'm too lazy and sweaty and tired to even get up and uh, show you all this building. This used to be the um, post office, the main post office in, in New York, in, in Manhattan. And not far from Wall Street, Empire State Building is right down the block. Um, I guess I could give you y'all a glance from this way since I ain't doing nothing. Yeah. Alrighty. So... Let's see if I can. All right. So if I turn this how this way, uh, I don't know if I could do it. This way. Oh. So there, that's the Empire State Building. Hope you guys can see that. <laughs> station, Amtrak, and Long Island Railroad. And this 
looks like it wanted to be a bench, but it's a pillar. So anyway, uh, that's the best I'm gonna do for y'all. Uh, across the street is just Penn Station and office buildings, whatever. So for those of you who've never been to New York, all right, you got a different type of look for it, of it today. So, how's everybody doing? I didn't even bring my cards with me because I'm not trying to do nothing. I'm trying to relax. I'm trying to just be patty today or just the next few days, you know? Um... I don't know, once I get settled, I'm not dressing up, I'm just gonna, you know, look good, but not, I'm not, I don't think I'm wearing a dress. I do have some sundresses with me though. And uh, beautiful sandals that I got. There's a video about the sandals. <laughs> I uploaded them, they're real cute. Um. And I'll get to see my girlfriend, Stephanie. And uh, checking on some other people. And Mary. And uh, we're just looking forward to seeing family and friends. And uh, looking around, seeing what life has to offer. I might even uh, look at some houses or some uh, living situations down there. And it'd be nice to not be in the cold. I grew up in the cold. My birthday's in the cold. Went to college in the cold. Worked in the coldest place in New York. And. Um, I would love to have some warmth that I could tolerate, you know? It's so ironic that when I'm finally able to go somewhere warm and live, it interferes with my MS. Um, I get fatigued and I sweat profusely. I went and got my hair done the other day. Huh? Day before yesterday. Sweated it out by today. But I'm gonna figure it out and uh, make myself comfortable somehow with the, you know, the weather and 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 things like that. But I, it's you know, I'm gonna. Enjoy as much of the days that are left in front of me, if any. And uh, continue to do the work that I know that God has for me to do in whatever form it comes in. I have no expectation of how it should look. But I do know that I have enjoyed coming to you guys in the different ways that I have and the different energies that spirit um, has allowed me to get to know, you know, different people, different energies, different members of the collective, different sisters and brothers all around these YouTube streets. And uh, see how other people live and, you know, what they think. And see what we can do collectively or individually to make things better, so. And this is my portable fan 
that I need right now. <laughs> um, just want to take better care of myself because I've been taking care of a whole bunch of folks for a while. And it's time for me to focus on taking care of me. So, not in a selfish way, but in a meaningful way that shows that I appreciate life, which I do. But, you know, when people, people watch and they just, you know, take you for granted, or you're just mom, or you're just my sister, or my daughter, or whatever like that. I'm a person, I have dreams that I might not have ever shared, or dreams that I might not have even allowed myself to dream. But I think now I have time to dream those dreams and to make some of them come true, you know? Everybody has a bucket list, and if you don't, you should. And I've done a lot of the things on my bucket list, so. And some things I just never put on the bucket list, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't experience it, right? Anyway, everybody, it was 11.56. As I'm saying that, it's 11.56. I hope everybody's having a good, has a good day today, Sunday. And I will, uh, I'll come back as needed. <laughs> I'll come back as necessary today on the train or once I get to Virginia. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to sleep on the train. Um, the train leaves at 6.20 and, uh, but I'll, they'll let you board at 6 o'clock so I don't want to find myself a nice spot put my things away and get cozy and lean back and just enjoy the ride it won't be that long but I could definitely use 4 hours worth of sleep I know that yeah from 6 to 10 6.30 to 10.30, yeah. So um, maybe I'll get the four hours back that got stolen from me this morning. Anyway, oh, and I got this cool thing that my girlfriend told me about, and it can hold my cell phone, um, like cross my chest and my waist, uh, so I don't have to always be holding it in my hand uh, or digging for it in my purse. If it rings, I'll hear it because it's attached to my body outside and it frees up my hands. And yeah, I like this. I just, Amazon just got it today. She, she, she has one that's long, but not as long as this one. Um, and she uses it, you know, because she's a, a hairdresser and her hands aren't always free. But she can put it around her neck and know when her phone is ringing. So. And you know we cannot be detached from our phones in this day and age, right? So anyway, everybody, I hope you have a great day. And I'll be talking to y'all real soon. Peace.